What is up you beautiful people, it's Adam D again. Today I'm bringing you a 1 to 50 leveling video. This is about speed leveling from 1 to 50. We're ignoring power level and gear level. We're just going to bring your characters up to max. I'm gonna be comparing a couple different leveling methods so that you guys don't have to waste your time like I did. And uh, all my characters are level 50 now, but I'm just gonna try and share some knowledge with you after I've done some testing. Uh, if you like this, please like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to get 10K by my birthday in October, that would be sick. You guys have been amazing so far. Next up, I got a status build video and I've got my Thor video coming out. So it's it's gonna be a pretty fire week. Uh, but without further ado, let's just get right into it. Okay guys, so uh, full disclosure, um, before I started doing this testing in, the, in these videos, um, the only two characters I have left were Kamala and Hulk to level up. Kamala was around level 11 and Hulk was around like level six. So it wasn't exactly like one to 50, but I just want you to keep that in your head uh, when you're calculating how fast you really uh, could potentially be going and also keep in mind that they're not the fastest traversal characters They're not like an Iron Man or a Thor that can fly uh, With that being said um, the very first place that I tested and I found a great deal of success there was uh, This day of the remains mission in the Pacific Northwest I would highly suggest it um, You're gonna want to put it at challenge one because the challenge doesn't really matter and you're not we're not clearing the entire level uh, Let me hop into the mission real quick and just show you uh, what to do. Okay, so the first thing we tested was Day of the Remains. I'm starting this at 2.11 p.m. just so you guys have full disclosure of how long this actually took me. I'm level 8, so from 8 to 50 is when I'm timing this. And all you're gonna do is sprint straight to the checkpoint and then reload the checkpoint like immediately, essentially. And it'll give you a level uh, per time you do this up until a certain point and then you're gonna have to do this like two times in order to get one level But it's very fast, especially if you have a flyer. Uh, I did it on Thor So I mean not Thor on Hulk so keep that in mind But if you're doing it on someone who flies it might be a little bit faster uh, It's tedious you just have to you know, it's mind-numbing you're not leveling up your power at all But uh, if you're trying to go for something fast, I would highly suggest this method. I think that it is is incredibly quick. And you can see I finished at 351, so uh, pretty fast leveling method. Uh, the second leveling method that I checked out was Kamala's Harm Room. I mean, anybody's Harm Room, really. Just Harm Room Challenge 1. You basically get a level per time you complete this. Uh, you also get XP for killing enemies, and you can also do dailies in here. So this might be for somebody who doesn't want to just watch Netflix while they're leveling. They want to actually play the game and get some stuff done. Uh, you can hop into here with any character, just complete all 10 waves of the harm room. Usually you get a level for just completing it, and you might get a level while you're actually playing it. But overall, I didn't find this to be as fast as the Day of the Remains mission. Um, but the last one uh, is specific to only a few characters. You can actually go into Thor's harm room, specific Thor's harm room, and he has a challenge where you have to kill things with overcharged Warrior's Fury. Well, if you don't pop Warrior's Fury, the time doesn't click down and enemies spawn infinitely. So you can just keep killing them over and over and over again. Some people might find this to be faster. You do get decent XP, but again, my Thor was 50 already when I was testing this and showing you this, so I don't really have a good barometer. Uh, overall, I think Day of the Remains is probably the fastest, but these are some options to give you guys. I think other characters can do things like Thor's Harm Room, but um, that's pretty much all, all there is for me to go over. Uh, I highly suggest you guys try Day of the Remains, run it while you can before they do something to it, and you know, keep an eye out for my other videos. We got some OP builds in my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, guys. I love you guys so much. The Thor video is coming later this week, and you know, spread the word. Uh, that's all for me. Adam D. out.